she wants a belly button piercing and then the answer is no. I don't want you to think that I'm being mean. Do you feel like I'm being mean? Are you sure? You already know who it is. It's Lisa, and today is Tuesday, so me, Austin, and Mom are out Cairo Speech and everything. So right now, Austin's in Speech. Me and Mom's just hanging out at the car, Tic Tac dances, and everything like that. Um, so I have a question for Mom. She doesn't know what I'm about to ask her. <laughs> I'm type scared for the answer, not even go hold, but it's fine. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay, listen to like it's a lead up to the question, okay? So last year I got my license, right? Yeah, you got your license last year. What? And what did I get with my license? You got a piercing. <laughs> Can okay. you get a piercing now? The answer is listen, no. Listen, listen. That wasn't even the question. If you want to ask me, the answer it's is not no. the question. So what is the question? And then the year before, what did I get? A ears piercing. Okay, and then last year I got a nose piercing. Okay, and this year <laughs> she wants a belly button piercing, and then the answer is no. No, that's eighteen. <laughs> You're not getting a belly Listen, button piercing. That's not the question. What do you want to ask me? Can I get a tattoo? Like a real, actual tattoo? You're absolutely crazy. <laughs> you know? You wait a minute, because you know my feelings about tattoos but you said if it means something no it don't have to mean nothing <laughs> you said Draw it. It. put it in the book why does it have to go on your body absolutely no then and can I'm... we get um a temporary tattoo well, why why where do you want it first of all right on your wrist a temporary tattoo of what it's gonna be one 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 what's one 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 means i'm the first born yes i'm the um first grandchild yes and i, and I always come Okay, write that in a freaking book. Put that on a screensaver. You don't need that to be a tattoo. You don't need to damage your skin like that. I have tattoos, and I told you. And I used to be like, it would never happen to me. I will never regret my tattoos. Every tattoo I regret. Why? Because your body is a temple. Why? Because Christ said you shouldn't put ink on your body. Why? Because it's a form. It's demonic. Why do we have to ink our bodies? No, I'm really serious. Because I don't want you to just think because, oh, you did something bad. Now you don't want me to do something bad. No, it's bad because it's bad. No, I'm very serious. I know. I knew you were going to say something. You knew I, I was going to say something? Yeah, I just wanted to see what you was going to say. Y'all. Well, like, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get a henna tattoo? You're not getting a henna tattoo because after we did our research on what henna tattoo means, it's death demonic as well. And it's not just everything's demonic, demonic. And I know sometimes it may seem like everything that I say is, it's demonic, it's demonic, it's demonic. But you have to become hyper vigilant. Vigilant is looking around. You have to become hyper vigilant in the world that we live in today. Because we may be doing some things that's part of a paganist, like a ritual or something that we don't even know so we we ask ourselves sometimes lisa like why is bad things happening to me why is these things happening to me we don't know but self-consciously we open ourselves up into this because we got a tattoo you don't think i paid for that like god god has punished me for some of the things that i have done that was against his will he's a good good father but he still has to discipline us I was disciplined for that. There are things I've done. I've gotten surgeries and things that I had shouldn't have done without consulting God. I've gotten breast implants and stuff. God has punished me for that. Do I have them now? No. No, I don't. Right? So it's like certain things that we open ourselves up, we give room for the enemy. And as your mother, I was able to experience that so that you don't have to go through what I went through. It will be such an unfortunate situation if you go down the same path that I went down. No, I went down that way. I took that for the team. I went down that path unknowingly, right, to get the experience. I bumped my head, scraped my knees and my elbows. I got some bruises and scars from it so that you don't have to do that. So that I can now impart my wisdom that I've gained onto you. Onto your sisters, onto your brother, onto our audience that we have. So we don't have to go through the same thing twice. History should not repeat itself. And I know it's like, oh, this is the mom talk that I did not want. But no, it, it would be it would be a it would be like a dishonor if I don't share this with you. If I'd be like, girl, that would be cute. 
a lot of things my mother has said to me she said that would be cute when she should have said absolutely not you know like we're cool we're cool in the game but at the end of the day god put me on assignment as your mother he could have made me your sister right he could have made me your cousin we're spirit beings so i could have been your best friend but god anointed me as your mother and that comes with a certain level of responsibility that I have to live up to. So sometimes I remember my mother used to say, this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. But in this, in this area, I can say that to you now. Like Lisa, this is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you because I know that you wanna do these things, but as your mother, I can't allow you to do that. And it's, it, but it's always a hierarchy. So if you're upset with me, talk, take it up to God. Tell God about it. She just, if I do something wrong, God will correct me. And that's just how that hierarchy goes, okay? But I love you. I want you to have an amazing life, but certain things I just can't, I can't do. I really don't want you to think that I'm being mean. Do you feel like I'm being mean? No. Are you sure? Yeah. You can be honest. No, I don't think you're being mean. So what do you feel about the feedback that I gave to you? You know what I was gonna say now? But do you disagree? Do you feel like, oh man, I should still be able to get a tattoo? I really don't care, honestly. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. All right, guys. I mean, I wasn't expecting that question. Um, and I just, you know, I just, I just have to be the best mom that I can be and I think in being a mom you protect your kids of from making silly mistakes even though they're gonna make mistakes right I kind of came to my senses on that like my kids are gonna make mistakes they're gonna make bad choices I can't control every single thing but the things that I can control I want to have the wisdom and the knowledge and the fortitude to know when that time is my time. Like, okay, nope, I can control this. Nope, you're not getting this. I'm not going to allow you to open yourself up to bigger demons or bigger things. Like, you know what I mean? I think sometimes when we hear demons and we're like, oh, demons, like, uh, but they very much exist. Um, we live in a foreign world. And I was just telling Lisa, like, we live in a foreign world. And just unfortunately, um, there's an adversary, you know, like sorry but that's just the world that we live in but i think sometimes we have to remember like we're here for a purpose and we're here on purpose you know what i mean like and sometimes we forget that my cheek is swollen if you guys are wondering like so with my wisdom teeth being extracted now um every time my sinuses are messing with me this is the second time it's happened in the last week um so my cheek is is my up but i just googled it it's normal so with upper wisdom teeth extractions it could interfere with your sinuses because the cavities are very close together uh so when my sinuses are messing up it can be you know it can cause inflammation in my cavity where my wisdom teeth was removed anyway i just wanted to give that out in case you guys are looking like she looks like a chick monk that's why but um i think just as a parent you know I will talk more about that in a different video about what does that mean? What does that mean to be a parent? And I think that as a mom, sometimes I just, I, every day I strive to be a better mom. And I know sometimes I fall short and sometimes I just don't meet the mark, you know, and sometimes I meet the mark and I oversee the mark, but that's just what it is. And it's just like, I know like we're, we're cool, you know, but I'm still your mom at the end of the day. And I have an assignment that I have to fulfill. So until next time, I love you guys. And let me know your, your thoughts in the comments. Like, let me know what you think. Um, you know, I'll take your constructive feedback. If you're going to be badgering us or just judging and being negative, um, I'm going to go ahead and go past the comment. But I love you guys. And I pray that you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, be blessed. And I'll talk to you later. Say, see you later, Lisa. See you later. Say hi, everybody. I want to say hi everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to play with the toy. We're gonna to play with those toys, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna play with Nari and we have to work on that body. Nice baby, where is that car seat?